Let's take a look at the enhancements to the extrude feature in Creo Parametric 4.0 and 5.0 and the master sketch technique for top-down design. So I have a skeleton open and by the way the stuff I'm going to show you can be done in a standard part model as well. And in the skeleton I have a sketch that contains a number of different entities. And in Creo Parametric 3.0 and earlier, if you tried to extrude this, you could generate a non-solid surface feature, but if you attempted to generate this as a solid feature, it would, wouldn't work because there are too many overlapping entities. Well, in Creo Parametric 5.0, they added the ability to extrude with what are called sketch regions. And the way that you do this is you go to your selection filter in the lower right-hand corner and you choose sketch region. And then you're going to pick the different portions of a sketch that you want to use. And I'm just going to select all these different circles and I'm holding down the control key to select multiple uh, regions. And now I can extrude and I can do the depth and I want it to go up to a value of four. And so that way I'm extruding that and some other neat additions. I can right mouse click and hold and define a side two depth as well. And with that side two depth, now you can also have a negative depth value. So that way my sketch no longer has to start from my sketch plane. So let's hit the check mark on that one. Next up, I'm staying with the sketch region, but this time I'm going to select with using a box to grab a bunch of different entities at one time. And let's also use control to get some of the other different portions of the sketch that I want. And let's extrude this one. And I'm going to flip the direction. And again, let's go with a value of 20. And for the side two depth again, I'm going to make that one negative. All right, now for some of my next extrude features, I'm gonna turn on the display of my datum planes because I have a datum plane created at an angle above my part. And this time I'm going to extrude this one circular sketch region. And from the mini toolbar that opens, I'll use the extrude command. And I want to drive it by this datum plane. And so when I'm doing this, if I am dragging my depth drag handle and hold down the shift key, it'll snap into that reference as to selected. And an, an addition that was put in Creo Parametric 4.0 is that you can then offset from your to selected reference. And right now it's going to that reference and you can either extrude to an offset of that reference or from a translation. I'm gonna show that in a moment with the next extrude that I'm making. So let's hit the check mark to complete the feature. And for my next one, again, I'm going to select multiple sketch regions. I'm holding down the control key to select these three regions. And we will do an extrude. And I'm going to go for my side one depth Again, let's drag the depth drag handle, hold down the shift key to snap in here. And from the options tab, for this depth, I'm going to first use to go offset from here. And when you choose offset, this is going to be a distance that is normal to your reference. So actually, I just want this to be a value of one. Instead of being offset normal to the reference, you can simply translate and the distance will be measured instead normal to your sketch plane. So that's good for my side one depth. For my side two depth, I'm also going to do two selected and using the shift key to snap into the datum plane and hit the check mark. So again, this is amazing flexibility that I'm getting in here. And for the last extrude that I'm going to do, let's select a couple more of the sketch regions, use the extrude, and for the depth, 
I'm going to use the shift key to snap two selected to the top surface and let's add a side two depth and this time I'm just going to right click on the drag handle which will allow me to get my pop-up menu to choose two selected and I'm going to select DTM2 but again I can go to the options tab and then let's do a translation off of there I'm going to translate a distance of 0.25 oops let's make it negative 0.25 and right mouse click and hold and have this remove material so there you see all the geometry that I have created and all of this was done from a single sketch. If I had done this in Creo Parametric 3.0, I would have needed to create probably about five different sketches in this situation and a bunch of different datum planes for my sketch planes and for my depth references. But the enhancements in Creo Parametric 4.0 and 5.0 with both the depth options and the ability to select sketch regions makes everything so much simpler and easier. I hope you liked this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.